In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the CSS border width declaration to define the width of borders. And we're getting started right now. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you get better at coding so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, or for your business. If it's your first time here, make sure you click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's get into the screen capture of this tutorial. I'll see you there. So here we just have a simple HTML page with an image. I'm just gonna put a border around it, just a black border. So border, one pixel, solid, black. And there's our border around the image. What I've done here is use the border shorthand and with a width of one pixel, a border style of solid and a border color of black. And this is what it generates. So what we can do is use border width and we can define different border widths for different sides of the image. So just to illustrate this very clearly, we can change or use border width of 10 pixels for the top and the bottom and 30 pixels for left and right. And as you can see, the border sizes are very different, top and bottom, left and right. You can even do something even crazier and with border color, make the top and bottom red, left and right blue, like that. You can make some pretty funky effects when you combine different, uh, different CSS properties with your borders. So just to explain how this works, I'm just gonna change this to the very basic format. So with the border width of 10 pixels, and that's the only number you, only value you have for that property, all sides will be 10 pixels. If we add in two properties, like we had a moment ago, the top and bottom will be 10 pixels, the left and the right will be 30 pixels. If we add in three properties, the top will be 10, the left and right will be 30, and the bottom will be 50. Which you can see here, the bottom is much bigger than the rest. If we add in a fourth one, the top will be 10 pixels, the right will be 30, bottom will be 50, and left will be 100 in this example. And so the, the order this goes in is the first value, if you have four values, the first value is top, second one's uh, on the right, third one's on the bottom, and the fourth one is the left. And the way I like to remember this is if I look at the word trouble and I just take out the consonants of that word, I'm left with T-R-B-L standing for top, right, bottom, left. So I just think of the word trouble then I use that to remember the order of how elements or how values are applied to the element if I have all four in there. And the same goes for the border color. And we have red right now applied to all of them, but if we have red and green, top and bottom will be red, left and right will be green, like that. Let's add purple. So now top will be red, left and right will be green, bottom will be purple and if we add blue this is where the trouble acronym comes in again top will be red right will be green bottom will be purple and left will be blue and that's how easy it is to play around with css border styles i hope this video helps you if you haven't done so yet click on the subscribe button then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome content and then click on that card that just appeared in the top right of this video for some awesome resources and until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.